Uh, what's up everybody once again it's brand man Sean and today's video is because Law said Yo make a video responding to what rapper Russ said about blogs don't matter He didn't even ask he just said do this but uh Laws is law so Alright so if you're not familiar with exactly Laws is talking about Pigeons and Planes a very popular music blog actually asked for a quote from popular artist Rust. It's still kind of underground to a lot of people, but he responded basically with a quote, blogs don't matter. There's actually more to it, but you can read the story. I'll do the link to the description below because Pitches and Plain was actually very gracious in accepting the fact that it is true. They did a whole story on the fact that Okay, Russ is actually kind of right. Blogs do not matter anymore. They're a very popular blog and they said it themselves, so you shouldn't need to hear it from me. But I should tell you right there, but what I'm going to do is shake up what you actually feel. So you get a complete paradigm shift of how you think about blogs. But first, I want to acknowledge what they did say, Pitches and Planes, about what is important. They said as long as you have a strong SoundCloud following, it could be a YouTube or Spotify or something else. Um, they said live shows, a great reputation for live shows, and they also said strong on social media. That is generally speaking true and branding is kind of encompassed in those and how you actually engage and build off of those things. Now for what's really real about blogs. What artists should understand is blogs are actually not for artists. I repeat, blogs are not for artists. Blogs are for consumers, also known as fans when you're talking about music. A lot of times the fans that you might be trying to get so they can be helpful if you get in front of those fans. But blogs are only talking about artists they feel are on the rise and going somewhere because that's going to give them a better look because consumers will say I discovered them through this blog or they're going to talk about people who are already popular because they're going to get people who are already interested in that artist to talk about them. The goal of a blog is not really to put an artist on which is understandable in business and you got to get things going but artists do not think blogs owe you anything. They're not even built for you. Blogs are built for fans, not to help artists. So keep in mind, like Russ said, blogs don't matter. He was able to blow up without blogs. If you don't know him, check him out. Dude definitely has a serious following. And even more to my point, I actually personally tried to get on some blogs to do a series that actually did help artists. And then it didn't take me long to go, why am I even trying to get on, get on these blogs? Because I know what I know. Hey, I could just do this. And... Here I am now. I don't have a huge XXL or Pitches and Planes or Fader following or anything like that, but it's not really even about the following in the first place. I'm now doing what I was aimed to do, which was just get out the information so people who want the information have the information. I have content that could be very helpful to the blogs, but at the same time, not really because they're not for artists. My information is for artists. If you look on everything that they have on their pages, these top lists and things like that, though that information is for fans. They're covering a lot of entertaining material, trying to entertain people and suck up their time. More of a pastime hobby and I'm trying to educate or provide valuable information. And I actually did a video in January. I'll put a link up here and in the description somewhere, but it was titled, Do Blogs Help or Hurt? You guys should really watch it if you want a little bit more clarity on this subject, but basically I talk about how blogs can actually hurt people when they rely on them as a career strategy. That's it. As always, hopefully that was helpful, guys, and please share this if you know somebody who you think might find it helpful too. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.